I'm sure Downton Abbey is a wonderful show. Full of lighthearted humor, British wit, and enough crumpets to fill up a kitchen. I'm a man of little taste and less fucks to give, so when I saw the Downton Abbey trailer, not once, or twice, but thrice, I wanted to jump off a cliff. I wanted to climb on top of the movie theater and just belly flop to the ground. I WANTED to take the straw from my drink and impale myself with it. Just right through the neck. <laughs> Clean, one and done. Pull it out and just let the blood run. Just let it go. Elsa, it's a Frozen reference in 2022. We're on top of things. Downton Abbey, a new era, is finally here, and I want it to be done already. My last three outings at the theater haven't been great. There was no less than 25 minutes of trailers before each one. It got to the point where I started arriving after showtime by 10 minutes, and it didn't matter. I still had to sit there and watch the same previews over and over again. I feel like the people that run the theater came from a job at Guantanamo Bay because they know how to torture a person. And the perfect way to do it is by playing the Downton Abbey trailer, which I've seen the last three times at theaters. This is a movie preview that is almost three minutes long. I'm now gonna recant the trailer because I hate myself and I want you to join in in the debauchery. The trailer starts with a sweeping shot of what I can only imagine is Downton Abbey. I don't actually know what Downton Abbey is. Is it a road? Is it the castle? Is it a way of life? We get some old cultured people walking up to the castle with a parasol in hand, and then Lady Grantham comes into the mix. Uh, McGonagall from Harry Potter, or the nun from Sister Act. Forgot that nun's... Their sister Mary Clarence, I can't remember the, the head nun's name, but that's her. Maggie Smith. She informs these old ass white people that she's come into possession of a villa in the south of France. Ooh, I can't wait for this to be over! They sit around talking for what feels like an eternity with some sweeping music. Whoosh! Woom! I was offered a house in France. Whoosh! Ding, ding, dong, ding! It was given to me by an older lover. Whoosh! Ding, ding, dong! Ding. Nothing is happening that warrants this music. Another shot of people walking with parasols. Is it the same group? Who knows? I assume that's all these people do is walk around their estate with, a, with an umbrella in hand, blocking out the sun because these are the pastiest fucking white people I've ever seen. And I have to look at myself in the mirror every day. The plot starts to shape around this time. Apparently they're going to be making a movie at Downton. The people keep saying this. A movie at Downton? They are gonna be making a movie at Downton? For some reason, Jar Jar Binks' king from under the sea is there. <laughs> Downton's getting a movie? <laughs> we then get some scenes which I guess are supposed to be jokes where they're trying to film. It startles Maggie Smith, who honestly could have keeled over and died right there. This woman is not young. We should not be filming stuff like this with her. She's precious and needs to be preserved. Don't startle her with an action clap. She could die! There's a woman sitting on the couch. She might be a villain of this picture. I don't know. I hate her because of how she utters the words, The modern world comes to Downton. I wanted to leap over the couch and butterfly kick her in the ear for how she uttered that phrase. Just a swift run and... I wear socks in the studios, not shoes. I'm not an animal. There's really two plots going on here. The film being done at Downton and the mystery of the secret villa in France. Why was it gifted to her? This is surely something we're gonna be invested in. We then see these old rich ass people frolicking in France. Paracel's missing this time. Uh, he might have a mallet of sorts. Maybe they're playing some croquet. Who knows? Uh, the sky's the limit with the film. They can do things that the TV show couldn't. So croquet is on the table. Actually, I looked back on the trailer again. They're holding rackets, not mallets. My bad. Uh, but the croquet is still on the table. We might see it here. <laughs> How exciting would that be? As this trailer and the story unfolds, we learn that uh, Lady Grantham, we see a young photo of her, very youthful, very lovely. Definitely not what she is now, uh, ready to keel over at the sound of an action slate hitting. Keep her alive. That's the goal here. 
At this point, I'm fully checked out. It's splashes of noise, followed by wedding shots, different things going on. Then we end on one of the most bizarre lines I've heard uttered in quite a while. Maggie Smith's character, Lady Graham Cracker, says there's two types of women in this world. Dragons and fools. Make sure they think of you as a dragon. What? What is... What? Dragons and fools? This is the weirdest category options ever. One, a mythical magical beast of great power. The other, which you would describe the town idiot as being. They, they don't really line up at all. The title card hits. And then we end on these two women in a retirement home making a joke that they think is just so catty, so funny. And I was just waiting for it to end. I know Downton Abbey was a popular show and there's probably a good amount of people excited for this, but I need to stop seeing this trailer. It needs to go away. It should never have been in front of the films it was in front of. How many people are going to Doctor Strange 2 looking to watch Downton? The good news is the film drops May 20th, so I might not have to see this thing ever again. Now I want to hear from you though. Are you a fan of Downton Abbey and this trailer is really wetting your whistle? Or are you like me? Where if you watch this thing one more time, you're gonna pour out the candy full of Skittles you have at the theater and take the box, slit your throat with it. Like the video if you like over the top complaining about nonsensical things related to movies and maybe even go the extra mile and subscribe if you haven't because I post a ton of movie related content on this channel all the time. I'd love to have you stick around. And with that, I take my leave. A dung, 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 dung. <laughs> yes, quite right, quite right. I do have other videos to watch right there, and you can even subscribe to the channel. If you really want to do something naughty, you could join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, or become a member right here on YouTube. <laughs> it's delightfully wicked. Now if you excuse me, it's time for my croquet lesson.